forming Golden Ort in just 18 years? Or maybe turning it in a complete monster in just the next 20 years from that? Yes, this is what I'm gonna show you in this video. Because if you're looking for a really nice and challenging experience as a horde, Great Ort is a perfect nation to do so. It's not that easy, and if you've played correctly, you can create this monster that I just showed you, and there are more than plenty of very cool achievements that you can get as that. Remember that if you want to get notified about this or any other upcoming series, you can subscribe to this channel and this will support us to get to the 90,000 subscribers, especially that I can see that only 40% of you are subscribing and bring this up to 50 would already let us do that. I promise you this is gonna be a lot of fun, my first move will be to take care of the estate. We have only one, which is tribes, and from tribes I'm gonna get this, which is just giving them loyalty and influence, just to keep it on a higher level. Then there's gonna be maximum power modifier, and later I'll also take the general cost and Jeremy army tradition decay. My ruler is having increasing corruption, that's not gonna be helpful, but at the same time he's also distributing, so it's not bad, and he's of course zero zero two. We don't really care about that, because we're gonna get most of our mana from raising the provinces. As for the advisors, I'm gonna start with the guy for the first limit, and the guy for the prestige. This is gonna be decreasing a little bit, but that's fine. Actually, I'm gonna sell the titles just once, to have some initial funds, but this is fine, and First things first, I'm gonna get the free company, which is in Polish, Darmowa Kompania. This is gonna be in Voronezh, and I'm gonna get this 9k on the border of Ryazan, and I'm gonna get this 7k on the border of Crimea. And my first war will be either against Ryazan or Crimea, and this will depend on the alliances that will be formed in the next 30 days. And this way, by 11th of November, so after 30 days, Ryazan has no allies. Let me go and rival them right now. I didn't want to do that earlier, because it was risky that they could ally one of my rivals. So now I can go and declare the war, target conquest, wipe them right away and carpet siege those provinces. And of course we are using our ruler who is complete piece of trash, but at least he's having one siege peep. I already start building spines from Moscow to get a better siege ability on them, and I'll do the same on Crimea. With everything in Ryazan siege down, I'm just keeping my Darmova Company on the capital, which is Fort Level 3 and that's 9000. And I'm getting ready to go and attack Crimea because we can't sit with all the other troops and do nothing. The only allied counter, you might ask why I didn't rival them. Well, that was to be sure that they will not ally Kazan or Nogai. Hopefully, I can wipe them in their capital of Crimea. Oh, I just need more numbers, come on. Reinforcements. Are they running away just next by? I think so. I th yes, okay, that's gonna be just easy stack wipe. So after this, we just have to go and switch down the capital and this will be finished. Yazan is down so you can just go and fully annex them. That costs 211 to core and we only have 98 to 5 Oh no! Anyway! Let me show you something. Let's go race number one, race number two. Remember that shortcut for raising is Z. So let's just go and click Z and spawn this. Look, we have 223 mana to core and still 91 left after coring those provinces. Stonks, stonks, let me go and send these guys to siege down Crimea so save my manpower. Moscow just attacked Novgorod, so we have timer on right now. Time to make the chimichangas. Moscow is having 26, 13 only from Novgorod. We need to get Crimea ASAP. Let me actually get a leader here with one siege and then quickly go after Moscow as they will be still busy with Novgorod. I think Kandor has some issues and their country 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> different wars. Anyway, I can peace out Crimea, so let me take all of those provinces, full money, and I'm gonna of course raise all of those. Now we can go and take more rivals. So let me go and rival Kazan, Nogai, and let me rival Gazimunuk. With this it's fine, I can take a mission which is subjugate Ryazai, and this gives me claims on Moscow. So these provinces, our sperma claims, will be 25% cheaper for me to core. Mr. Moscow, it's time to die. It's always time to die, so let me go, not for conquest, by tribal conquest, so winning battles, and we have 75% of this expansion. Without any thought, Moscow just straight away is going to attack me in Moscow. Okay, if you want to fight, let's fight. So these reinforcements, they will be here on the 12th of August, we have 10 days to win the battle. 1 to 7 is not a good roll to start it. 1 to 3 is not good either. Take all the reinforcements on time. 8 to 8. 
Look, they will be reinforcing just in the last second. 8 to 8, 7 to 6. He reinforced. Now have 7 to 6. 1 to 1. 7 to 2. 0 to 3. And we won this battle. We've killed almost 17,000 troops while losing still a lot because 8,000 of our own. But that's 8% of the war score that we just received. If Moscow down have 34% of the war score, we need far more. We want to take all the provinces needed for the gold in our formation. And look, at the same time, while these guys are busy sieging me down, <laughs> of course, siege down Skuf, which is level 3 forward. Now let these guys siege down Mozhaisk, while this second stack I'm just gonna go around and start swiping these 3k stacks, instead of fighting with one big army over here. As I court Crimean province, I'm stating them right away, at least half stating, because we need to keep as slow as possible autonomy to get to this reform, which is giving me core creation cost. Now if Mozhaisk is down, we need to start the wipes festival. So here's the first wipe. Here goes the second wipe, and then the third wipe being out right away. So it goes tick. Okay, let's go and fart in Yazan because they're about to siege it down. So I'm gonna arrive there on 10th August. This guy's gonna arrive on 8th August. Let's wait two days. This guy's and this guy's can already go. 10th. One. This way everyone will arrive in 10th August. So that's gonna be really easy stack wipe. Just look at this. Unless we like, like super badly. Yeah, that's not a stack wipe, but... That's 6% of the war score. And let me go and try catching more stacks over there. While at the same time, I'll also carpet siege everything around. After war with me, Moscow Alliance is having less troops than Novgorod by itself. <laughs> so good luck fighting it and then you're gonna peace out. Can I get at least a few ducats? Well, 20 something. We have some money saved anyway, so that's fine. Uh, let me send the peace deal. AE is not a problem. And of course, let me raise all these provinces. 226 Abbey mana. So after raising. Tick, 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 and tick. That's 426. I'm gonna sell the titles actually again. And seize that. So it's above 30 uh, still. And oh, that's gonna be harder. But, uh, when I go to war, I'm gonna lose this mission. So that's that's unfortunate, but it's also fine. And next step is gonna to go and take down fair which is granted by Novgorod, but Novgorod is not swing to fight. So we just sent bigger stack to wipe them, smaller stack to go take down Odoyev, and in the meantime we have also take care of the Crimean rebels. We're gonna of course take full annexation all of those guys, this is Nogas expansion, take money, and of course we are gonna raise everything. So now we'll be waiting to embrace the institution, and to embrace the institution I want to stay the provinces from Ryazan and Maskowi. Now from this lands that I just half said, I'm gonna core the most developed ones. So I'm gonna core Moskva, I'm gonna core Ryazan. They have far less development than they did actually. These guys and these guys. So let me just go and embrace the institution as we saved more money for that. And this unlocks me this and this text. Miltek is gonna be super important to fight over here. Those, all of those guys have tech free. So me with tech 4, I'm gonna have a gigantic advantage. I'm gonna start the war against Nogai, because they are allied with Bayapas and Chagatai, while Kazan is allied with Uzbek and Chagatai. So Bayapas and Chagatai will be a little bit easier. And this allows me to become the great power number probably 8? Yes, but we'll be climbing up. Hello, hello. Time for the stack wipes festival. Stack wipe number 1. Tick, 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 tick. Now, should don't you see it? Stack wipe number two. They are going to Yelets, so let me wait for them to be movement locked. Now I can go there as well. There should be. Ooh, the actual running away, but from Voronezh they won't be faster for sure. Yep. Stack wipe number two. So now after this battle, they'll be left with almost no troops in this war. Because it's just. It's actually still 17,000, but we've killed most of them already. Now, the thing is, do we want to finish this war already or actually I think I'm gonna rush finishing this war because we've killed most of the Chagatai army so this will be very easy to go and fight with Kazan as long as they still have tech free yeah let's go for this kind of beat I'll take just money instead of more provinces tick tick I need no guy for the mission tree and formation of golden Lord. send the peace deal anything to race then race if we can do this Thank you, thank you, thank you. And get on the border of Kazan to declare on them right now. So, declare the war. That's gonna be conquest of Penza. And we're gonna go and have some fun against them.
This is why we're building this spine tour. We have 16% siege ability on Kazan. So siege phases is only 20 today. And even though it's a level 3 fort, I'm gonna take it down like that. Maybe take the middle tech, it's just 640 points. And most importantly, that's innovativeness that we're gonna receive over here. So we'll start stacking this for ourselves. And that's also way better army than we had. So they have tech 3 army. I have tech 5 army. They have no chance winning the battles. To show you what I mean, I'm gonna engage with them on Bolgar. These guys are coming, but I don't think they will be on time. That should be a wipe before they arrive. 31st March. We wipe them already. Yes, Oof, that's what I counted on. They, they changed mind of stacking me on Kazan. Otherwise, I would lose the whole siege progress. But I'm not gonna lose any siege progress because they got scared. Remember, I'm still fighting with enemy. Even though I did two stack wipe for 23,000 troops, we still fight with enemy that is having 50k of troops recruited. Look at this, how many troops from our enemies came here? And there goes the first guarantee form, which is choice between the tax mental and corruption versus national manpower. So let's increase our national manpower up to... 41,000. And it's time for a stack wipe festival. And it's gonna be richly a stack wipe festival. We have two text difference and we have two four general, which is just perfect for this kind of the battle. So, there goes stack wipe number one, only 2,000. Then let's go slowly, right? Stack wipe number two. For each, we're getting tons of the war score. Stack wipe number two. Oh, there's just one war score. Then we're gonna go. I think it's a merc stack here. So, let's go like for stack wipe number three. Tick. Stack wipe number three. Then this is scorched. Nobody is gonna reinforce this. Stack wipe number four. This is also scorched. So it's gonna be also super easy. Uh, let me take the technology for even more originalityness. So it's eight right now. I don't remember which stack wipe it is, uh, but it's also almost actually a stack wipe. Now let's go and fight in Saratov. But to fight to Saratov. Let me get my mercs over there because they were stopping the rebels. So we've killed 80,000 of troops already <laughs> and we are just getting started. I pretty much want to white piece Uzbek out of this war, I think. So then I'm gonna eat the two promises I need for the Golden Ord and clear Kazan thanks to it. You know what, I'm gonna try separate piecing Uzbek to get the promises I need for the Golden Ord. But to do so, I'm gonna have to play more aggressively. And by that, I mean I will have to get mercs in my mainland. So just save the titles, get the mission, uh, boost tax for sure, and uh, that's gonna be 20 to 0 stack might be good, but it costs too much. So I'm gonna get, let's get the Grand Company 31 0 just to wipe all of those guys to defend my nation. Even though we've killed 114,000 of them, they still have 48,000 of troops, but soon. Chagatai will be not so willing to continue this war while for Uzbek I could already piss them out but they want to get to this. Okay so theoretically if I take those and those three that's yeah I need a hundred percent big deal. This should be fine I'm gonna white piece Chagatai already sick then I will need to just occupy a few more provinces from Uzbek. <laughs> that took it some time that's also some like expansion but that's fine let me go in the race, especially this province, Kipshak, the rest is free death, and human. That's all the power points for those two. From Kazan we can go a little bit better with the borders, so we want Kazan itself, and then just cool borders or around. But I'm gonna actually go two less provinces and take full money instead. Okay, send the peace deal, and same case, let me go and erase all of those provinces. To stack our amount of mana that we're having. Also, thanks to this, we are not over a hundred of extension, even though we've conquered a lot. And I mean a lot over here. My promises will be coring, I'm not gonna slow down. Let me attack Novgorod for tribal conquest. And this will be... there will be two goals in this war. First of all, we need to of course keep expanding, but even more importantly, we need to humiliate him for Age of Discovery mission. With some of the promises court, I can take the United Tatars, which is giving me even more claims around the place, and cross the Caucasus. Ah, it will require me to get all of those promises, which will be hard because, for example, Ottomans ally allied to Gazimunuk, but we are slowly getting towards allying them, and my marriage is the first step to do so. So, two provinces, full money, humiliation. And war reparations is, I think, what we can take, and even a little bit more of the money. Okay, 
This is perfect. Let me send the peace deal. And of course, that's also more mana for raising those prices. 23 and 23. And let me just go and core those princes. Why in the second, we'll be unlocking the fifth admin deck. Now, Mr. Ottoman is our best friend, so we don't have to care about like, an expansion on them. Renaissance is actually already in Genoa. So what if I improve relations with them or even no, they are toy of Ottomans. So if I just improve relations with them, so it will get to our provinces, I guess it's a high time to start crossing the Caucasus. So I'm gonna attack Circassia. They'll be helped by Georgia, which is unfortunate because they have so many forts, but we should be fine. Thanks to raising the provinces from Circassia, I hope to unlock the fifth Alvin deck, which is giving me the first idea group, which is gonna be diplomatic. And I can already take the first one, and diplomats will be already useful to start improving relations with potential coalition members. And by 1462, we can form the Golden Orch. Honestly, if we compare their ideas, I prefer what I have with Great Orch at the beginning, so it's years of separatism and I guess expansion impact, while Golden Orch ideas will be better soon when I unlock the second idea group because I'll get the core creation cost. So to make it 100% efficient, I should play the Great Orch right now and once I get to second idea group and I take most of the ideas, then I should form the Golden Orch. But it's YouTube. YouTube is having its own rules, meaning that the faster I form Golden Orch, the better for the thumbnail. So let me form it, give me new ideas, we are now an empire, is very useful we are having all of these cultures accepted and that's the ideas again so we have manpower land maintenance soon there will be hard unity and core creation costs so now our maximum power is 47,000 already so soon we'll be minimizing the amount of the mercs in our armies so let me get rid of the grand company i'm gonna keep the free company and at the same time i'm gonna increase the amount of my normal manpower troops and you look on all of those claims that we just received around here. Obviously the next step is to form the Mongol Empire and we are gonna do it fairly fast. In one and a half year my truce with Moscow is ending. So right now I'm gonna go attack Imereti. So I'm gonna get Imereti and Theodore in one war and then straight away I'll go after Moscow. Return the old ways. This is a very nice event which is giving me raising power again. <sighs> we need it. More of armies, we need it but less. But we're gonna lose 25% goods progress modifier. So instead of 15.6 if income, that's gonna be 14.6 and even less because we're gonna also gonna earn less from the trade. But obviously income is not a problem. The amount of treasury is pretty clear and we're gonna also gonna get the gold mine from Kaza in the next war. Our ruler just died. So we have one free to king which is far better than 002 that we had and he has a like, expansion impact and air is one to zero. Let me get rid of him right away. And we'll need to boost the stability at least to one. I don't remember when was the last time we got this kind of an error. 600. <laughs> Admin god. I will take him down, but first I need to get more prestige from the wars. Because remember, prestige means improved relations and I guess expansion impact. Mr. Nogay. Time for our war. This is gonna be for Castle's belief Orda. I will start even down and soon troops from Moscow will war will come because I'm about to finish this war. Yes, Mr. Emerity, let me just vassalize you and take all of your money. So from Moscow, I'm gonna take a little bit different piece than I planned. So border of Perm. In a five years, I'm gonna attack them and shorten my truce with Moscow from 15 years to just 10 years. At the same time, <laughs> take uh, maybe the war reparations with something like this. Send a peace deal and of course go and raise every single province because we need more mana. We need to keep feeding our ideas. We are hitting the mill points cap at the same time. Perfect. This is more innovativeness, which we are actually losing. So we need to take the mill tech now and we need to keep increasing it, of course, to decrease the core creation cost. No guy, peace is gonna fix the borders. So that's very important. Tick, 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 tick. Six, six, six. <sighs> oh no! Let me just leave one province over here for later. Or maybe something less developed. So I'm just gonna leave this province for later and take for money on top of that. 
Thank you so much. Just look at this name placement. It's tiny and cute golden ort. But not for long. Also, this way you are already number to great power going after Mink. Obviously, my first perk in this age is gonna be AE Impact. But still, if you take a look at the expansion, it's not really a problem because we are mostly conquering Orthodox guys, and there's not that many Orthodox countries around. My truce with Kazan Nogai ends in three years. So we have three years to go and take down Transoxana, which will be held by Afghanistan, Khorasan, Hormuz, and Fars. It is, seems like a lot of potential enemies, but they all at tech 4 and 5, while I have tech 6. Remember, the difference in the quality between the tech 5 and tech 6 is pretty much the biggest in the whole game. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attack and focus on winning battles. Truce with Perm also ended. Unfortunately, they are no longer allied to Moscow, but that's fine. Skuf is at war with us, so cannot help them. And Yaroslav is gonna be eaten in this war. It was worth all of these inherits. 446, Sheikh Ahmad is a perfect heir to the throne. Let me get out of this Transoxana war because it's a waste of time. Take those provinces. Maybe something like this, so I get the borders of Khorasan, Timurids and Afghanistan. Then peace them out, and of course all of this is gonna be raised. Truth of Uzbek and Kazan ends in October, November of next year. As we are anyway very ahead in our meal points, I'm gonna go and dev some of the provinces to get the institution faster. For example, Theodore is gonna be nice, only with the meal points. So wherever it's spreading around here, I'm gonna give it a big boost by having with meal points. But meal points only because Diplo points go for the idea and uh, Adwin points are going for expansion. See, I'm very ahead in the middle tech, so that's not a problem. And we are at the same time increasing the crown land ownership. Oh, look at this beauty. Persia just got formed by a jam. When I declare on Uzbek what's important, Kazan is not gonna jump because it's occupied by Chagatai. So let me declare for the conquest of Alten. I just declared conquest instead of tribal fraud. That was a misclick, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start car positioning them from this side. We're gonna go and try separate piece Khorasan. Why these guys will get ready to go and attack Kazan once it gets out of the war with Chagatai. Fixing borders for a second because my peace deal with Uzbek is gonna break them again. But for now, take a look at this. Enjoy it while it lasts. I decided to adjust the pistol because I didn't want to take capital because it costs more, but I guess that's gonna be just more beautiful. So let me take all of those provinces. It's not that bad. What was important is to get border with Oirat because I will be soon killing them. This unlocks me subjugate the Kazakhs mission. So it's getting more and more beautiful. Which crit power we are? Fourth. But I can say this only because we don't have the institution yet. I still am not that bad with GAF capacity. I'll be just adding all of the provinces to the trade companies that I can. So for all wholesome Americans, everything in Siberia, and soon we might even get a merchant from there. From raising, <laughs> we can finally get promise four score costs from diplomatic ideas, and more importantly, co-creation calls from our national ideas. Anyway, let's go into Persia. I'm gonna attack the Timurids. They're gonna be helped by nothing really important. And let me go and expand there finally. Second, current reform is gonna be the religious unity. That will help keeping my country even more stable. Shirvan, Shirvan, Shirvan. See, you're expanding with the QQ. So let me go and attack you. And I'm gonna first take those provinces for myself. And I'm gonna raise those provinces only to give them finally to Imereti. We need to slowly start saving some admin mana because we want to take tech 7 and unlock admin ideas. About the institution, I can embrace it. It's 700 ducats, which I don't really have. We need to take a loan. Uh, unlucky. Embrace the institution. Can I take two techs at the same time? Almost. And I'll be also able to unlock 7th mil deck, which will be important for the artillery. Tech 7. Unlock. Admin ideas, and we need this core creation cost ASAP. Okay, Mr. Timmy, let me take all of these provinces. Herat actually might be useful because it's a big province to raise. That's the biggest advantage of it. I might take those two less provinces. I'll take them in the future. This will be not so bad borders. We'll send it. And give me yes, 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 yes. 
the worst thing you can do when you're playing as Horp is to stop. Because most of your mana, as mentioned earlier, is coming from expansion. So if you just stop and do nothing, you're just gonna get far slower than you could. We piss out Shirvan as well. Of course, I'm gonna raise those provinces, same as the previous ones. And uh, I can finish deploy the other things to it. Now our innovative is already 20. And let me feed immorality of those provinces, because as mentioned, uh, we are saving army mana for having ideas. Tick, 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 tick. We should be also uh, annexing them very soon. With Maserat and actually, I'm gonna take those two provinces. I'm gonna, of course, raise them. But at the same time, I'll release Maserat and as our vassal, and I will use them to feed in the Persia region. Because we are saving Adriana to at least get this. Anyway, let's go and attack Moscow to fix the borders around here. And then think with our new bonus from Deploy Diaz, we should be able to, yes, fully annex them. Told you, 88%, that's also some money that we really need because I don't, our only problem is <laughs> the balance. And we have free loans, but it should be fine. We go and raise all those princes, that's gonna be also a couple of ducats. We actually have over 100 overextension right now, but most of the princes will finish in May of this year. I'm just scoring very cheaply and very quickly and this is coming very soon. Isn't this beautiful? It is beautiful and we are gonna fix the borders in this year because my truce of Noga and Azoxiana is ending. Yes, who is the first great power? Of course, the Golden Ord. No guy, no guy, no guy. Time to fix the borders. Let me declare and take them down immediately. <laughs> Just announced us our destroy. <laughs> I'm not that strong to fuel <laughs> 20,000 troops. Anyway, I'm gonna destroy them. This is crucial war. Transoxana is a crucial war because we need to fix these borders, right? Yes, I'm reaching the border of Oirat. Yes, the attributary state of being that. That's what I was scared of. Uh, I should have called them earlier. I guess that's fine. We're gonna destroy Mink, just not yet. If this expansion is blocked, we're gonna change it. But we're not gonna go after Novgorod instead. Peace out, Novgorod. <laughs> I can fully annex them. Let's do that. Screw it. I want to get this borders insanely nice. <laughs> All this team placement. Uh, just the thing is, we need a lot of admin mana. But with our co-creation cost, I think we should get more admin mana from raising when we are actually spending on coring. Especially that I will be able... Oh, that's so close. I will be able to take this. Very soon. Let's wait for this first. Look at this. When I core, take this core creation cost, first of all, the coring cost of those provinces is <laughs> pretty much nothing. And second of all, see, it's 18 months to core it. It's just uh, super rapid. You might think, how am I going to get mana to core those provinces from Novgorod? I'm going to take it from raising the Transoxiana provinces. I have to take this snake because Samarkand has too much development. Why I want to get border of Chagatai and the Arkad, and only this province is providing it to me. So let me send the peace deal. And raising. Let's see if raising those provinces ooh, is gonna be enough. I think I think it's gonna be enough mana to core everything that we need. At least majority of the provinces. Ooh, mil points! Mil points gap! <sighs> I didn't notice. I have a mission to dev capital to 30. Let's dev it to 30. And we're gonna start the golden era. Before that, Ottoman just called me to the war of Vamlux that is already won. I guess I'm gonna join it. I don't care. I'm not gonna do anything there. Now with golden era, we have 289 mana to core those provinces. Let's see. Is it enough? I think it should be enough if our core creation is <laughs> just so cheap. This is just beautiful. Yes, it was more than enough. That's why I wanted to embrace the admin ideas. So guys, with these beautiful borders, in 1485, we are already having almost 900 development. Together with our vassals, we're getting to a thousand. This is just a perfect guide for you guys on how to start as great art and create a monster out of it. And next, I would like to actually go for an achievement that I don't have yet, which is Khan. 
So restore Mogul Empire budget for Age of Absolutes. So guys, let me know if you enjoyed this series enough to continue it. And if you hit 3000 likes, I'm gonna record part two of this video. Thank you so much for watching today and I'm gonna see you very soon.